Hi friends, so in this tutorial I will cover the IP config command. So it's not exactly a PowerShell command, but it's the standard way of configuring the IP on a Windows machine and it's also the easiest way of doing it. So in the next uh, few tutorials I will co uh, cover the how to do these things in PowerShell. So in the first one I will just uh, quickly show you guys how to do it in uh, using the IP config command. So let's get started. Now the first thing that uh, you have to do like to find the IP address of your uh, machine is to just use this command IP config. So what it does is that it shows you the IP address. This is the IP IP version four address of your computer the subnet mask. Uh, after that, it will also show you also show you the default gateway. This is the link local IPv6 address. Uh, so this is how you can get the basic information about your computer and networking information so it shows you the IP address subnet mask and also the default gateway now let's say um, you have configured your um, you have more than one interface and uh, you have like things like virtual interfaces and you have uh, wireless interfaces and all of this so there is another uh, thing that called IP config forward slash all what it will do is that it will show the IP address of all those interfaces and not only that it will also show the hardware address so in this case uh, it will show you the MAC address in here you can see that uh, this machine this is its MAC address it is uh, gives a description what kind of adapter network adapter it is this is the IPv4 address again subnet mask default gateway uh, DCB, so this is the DNS it shows you the DNS server also the physical so it not only shows you information about the other uh, adapters but also show you information about the, the your network interface the information that you would not get by just using the IP config so what those information are things like uh, your DNS server and uh, your physical address and things like is DCP enabled or not so in my case DCP is not enabled but uh, so let, let's say that um, uh, now let's say you want to what you uh, you have uh, for example let's in here uh, assume that I'm getting this IP address from a DHCP server which I'm not in this case but let's assume you're doing so let's say this IP, IP conf, uh, address is configured assigned to someone else or it's supposed to be uh, assigned to someone else so uh, how do you release that uh, so in the static IP address you can go to the let me show it to you in here you can easily uh, change your IP address from here um, so if it is a static IP address you go to the properties and you go to the IP version 4 so in here uh, you can easily change it however if you click on this opt-in uh, IP address automatically then there's uh, not an easy way of changing that IP address and if that leads us for like uh, which usually it's seven days and for seven days you will be stuck with that IP address um, so one way, one easy way of doing is that uh, doing getting rid of that IP address is using the release command. What you do is that uh, it will release the current IP address that you have received, and uh, after that, what you do is you type renew. So what it will do is that you will get um, a new IP address. So this releases the address that had been assigned to you by DHCP, and renew it asks for a new IP address. So you, you will get a new IP address however if you in your Windows server an IP has been assigned to your MAC address so you will get that IP address again so it might not all work in those cases but uh, mostly uh, if you're working in a dynamic environment and you are not you're not satisfied with your IP address or if that IP address has been assigned to someone else so you can easily uh, change your IP address like this however the operation failed as no adapter is in the state permission for this operation so this uh, I don't have it enabled right now DCP so it's not going to work right now for me uh, the other thing is that um, let's say uh, now one thing you might not be aware is that um, or you might be aware is that whenever uh, you're surfing the web or uh, whatever you do uh, these uh, DNS names and their IP addresses will be stored in your local cache for fast retri retrieval so it will be stored for like 5 10 or however many as uh, minutes it is configured to so how do you view your local cache you type in ipconfig display 
DNS. What it will do is that it will show you the uh, DNS information of a machine. So for example, this is the OS OCSP.digicert.com. It shows its record type, time to live, uh, data type, record type, a host record. This is its IP address. So in this case, um, uh, so yeah, I have it in here. Let me go up. I think I have it. Do I? So yeah. Previously, before sorting this tutorial, I ran this command ipconfig display DNS. So it showed all these IP addresses on these machines. So their IP addresses, this this is how big it was. Uh, so it's from here to here. There are many records for MSN, Google, DigiCert. However, all of them uh, has been deleted right now because it is uh, it can be stored for a particular amount of time. So I think it's this time. Here it's 46 seconds, and this time it's 185 seconds. So if uh, the, this uh, this time will go down, it's, it will count down. So if it's 185, then after 185 seconds, it will get deleted. That's why in here I have very few of them in here. You can see that I have only digital left. The others has been deleted. So if you, um, so this is how you can view the IP addresses of the uh, domains that uh, has been stored in your cache. However, if you want to delete it, uh, you just type in ipconfig and after instead of typing this display DNS, what you do is that uh, you type in flash DNS. So what it does is that it, you can see that it says clearly flashed the DNS resolver cache. Now if we do this again, display DNS, now you can see that it's empty. There is nothing left in our um, DNS. Now uh, let's say um, here's another command, ipconfig. So let me clear the screen. ipconfig uh, register DNS. So if you have changed your DNS, what you can do is that you can also it will kind of re-register your DNS. So there are different uh, ipconfig commands. So let me just if you want uh, to know all about it. If you type an ipconfig forward slash question mark, it will show you the different options available. So these are the options. I have covered a few of them. So however, there are many others. These in here, these are the examples. ipconfig, ipconfigure all, then renew and all these uh, commands. You know, so you can also use it for release and release six. Release six, by the way, is for IPv6 and renew six is also for IPv6. So if you want to, work with your IPv6 addresses, this is how you can do it. So this is it for this tutorial guys, if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to put it in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one.